Okay, here we go. We're going to take a look now at dissection number 11, the deep thigh muscles. To begin this dissection, we're going to quickly cut through the gracilis muscle. Careful again not to probe or stab anything below. And we're going to cut through the sartorius muscle up above. I'm doing the same kind of idea. Make sure we don't cut anything down below. Again, a very quick dissection, but uh, we'll start with what we call the adductor muscles. The adductor muscles, these are what make up what we call our hamstring. Okay, so starting off here, we have the uh, semimembranosus is this large muscle. Let's pause this for a second and take a quick look at the muscles that you might see here. All right, there's a line right here that my finger is getting underneath. So this muscle here is called the semimembranosus. The next muscle that we're going to see is the adductor femoris. It's kind of a triangular shaped muscle, adductor femoris. We're the next going to have the adductor longus, and then really close inside here is going to be the pectineus. Okay, so one, two, three, four muscles that make up this backside here. Um, keeping in mind that the hamstring is going to be actually made out of these guys: semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and of course the adductor longus. So let's take a look here at this video. So we're going to use just our, uh, our probe, being really careful if we're going to cut anything. In fact, I'm kind of deciding here in this video, we're just going to leave a lot of these blood vessels intact. I want to warn you about a common pitfall. Um, you'll see where I'm actually teasing apart. See where my probe is at? That is the end of the adductor femoris. Okay, some carefully extreme caution that you're going to have to have here during this part of the dissection. Okay, I'm carefully peeling it away, very carefully. Okay, you don't need to get underneath. Let me just show you this real quick. You might see, okay, so we have this line here, and we have this line here. Okay, this is the semimembranosus. This is the adductor femoris. But you notice there's this white line right here in the middle. One of the most common mistakes is that people follow this line and turn the adductor femoris into two muscles. Please don't do that. Let's keep it set, keep it as one muscle. Okay, there's plenty of muscles to go around. So we'll have this muscle here. That's the semimembranosus, the adductor femoris, the adductor longus, and then the pectineus will be even smaller than that. Okay. So as you go through here, you're actually going to notice a color change. That might be one of the most noticeable things here is a deeper color change. Okay, these are more of those. SO fibers, those muscle fibers that have lots of mitochondria in them, um, it's going to have a, a deeper red color. What you can see I'm doing right now is removing a blood vessel that was there. This blood vessel is kind of helpful. If you leave it on the earlier dissection, as you peel it up gently right now, it'll kind of help reveal the stuff underneath. That way we're not probing around with our uh, blunt probe. Very, very easy to tear up the muscles down below here. Probably one of the easiest dissections to mess up. Very hard to be able to finish this without at least tearing the pectineus or the adductor longus. Okay, so I lift up this blood vessel. Okay, in doing so, it kind of pulls up some of the uh, connective tissue with it. So now, and I'm kind of cleaning up the stuff on top of the adductor longus. And then I'm going to, it's okay, so I'm in between the adductor longus and adductor femoris. Okay, making that gap nice and clear. Now the pectineus, it's almost impossible to see it. You're going to look for a very faint line. It's all dark red down in there. And you're going to have to find where the pectineus is. It's extremely hard to find muscle. Okay, Some people will luck out and have a very easy cat. I'm going to just carefully move it away from the adductor longus. Just carefully move it from the adductor longus. Okay, all right, so doing pretty well here. Semimembranosus, adductor femoris, adductor longus, and pectineus. Okay, then we kind of move to the other side. I'm going to get rid of this blood vessel. We don't need it. Okay, I'm just going to completely cut it off and get rid of it. Okay, the next thing we'll look for is something called the iliopsoas muscle. It's actually a combination of two muscles, the iliacus and the psoas muscle. Uh, on humans, we have them as two. On the kitty, we're going to call it just one muscle, the iliopsoas. 
One way to find it, you're going to locate a ligament. See, I'm getting underneath this very firm, thick, looks like a little tendon piece. Keep it intact. That's running parallel to the iliopsoas muscle that's a little bit deeper. So you're going to push stuff away on the um, abdominal cavity, and you might be able to see it. Let me highlight it here for you. Okay, the muscle we're looking at is right here. Okay, I'll highlight one side there and the other side there. Okay, it's kind of running in this direction. Again, you're not getting underneath any of these muscles. You're not going to go underneath the adductor femoris or adductor longus. Don't do any of that stuff. Just define them from each other. That's all we have to do. Okay, so I have my iliopsoas muscle. Okay, pectineus, adductor longus, adductor femoris, and our semimembranosus. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move on over to the quadricep muscles. Quadriceps, there should be four muscles. We've always known them as our quads. There's actually three muscles that we can see here. Okay, so I'm going to lift up and kind of make a little, uh, kind of clear everything. All of, There's a lot of fascia we're going to have to remove. Okay, so right here I'm getting underneath what we call the vastus medialis. Vastus medialis. Okay. Clean up as much as we can. Again, got another little piece of a blood vessel to remove here. Okay. You see where, it, where my, my probe is hitting there? I'm separating what we have, the vastus lateralis. Okay. Maybe I can pause it right here and just kind of highlight a couple muscles you might be able to see here. Okay. Vastus medialis is right here on this side. Vastus lateralis is right here. In between the two is what we have called the rectus femoris, the rectus femoris, and my hands are grabbing onto one of my favorite muscles called the tensor fasciae latae. Okay, so the tensor fasciae latae, we then have the uh, vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, and vastus medialis. There's actually the fourth muscle of the quadriceps because the tensor fasciae latae is not part of the quadriceps. The fourth muscle is going to be the vastus intermedius, and we cannot see him. Okay, so here we go. You're seeing I'm going underneath what we call the fascia lata of the tensor fascia latae. Okay, there's this muscle is actually what's pulling on this band. So I'm actually going to cut right through it. That will allow me to expose the vastus lateralis. Okay, so as I peel this thing back, there's the tensor fascia latae. Okay, this tensor muscle, I'm touching it with my thumb there. Peel it back, and I can now see the vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, vastus medialis. I see the iliopsoas, pectineus, vastus, I mean the adductor longus, adductor femoris, and semimembranosus. And that is pretty much the end of the video. So let's take a quick look at the muscles. Let's make sure we highlight all of them. Okay, I'm going to try to draw my lines here. So there's one muscle there. Here's another muscle here. There's another one. And another one. So we can see semimembranosus. We then see our... Um, adductor femoris, right here, adductor longus, and pectineus. We then have coming up this direction, we have the iliopsoas. We've got our vastus medialis, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, and of course the tensor fasciae latae. That's it. We will hopefully see you guys in class. We'll work on this dissection together.